So our fish is in the oven. What next? We're going to make a quick salad with just some of the vegetables we have left over from here. Lettuce, green pepper, cucumber, tomato, spring onion. Okay? We need a bowl for our mixed salad. And we're going to chop up our lettuce. There are a variety of uh, leafy lettuces on the market. Lolo Rosso, Lolo Bianco, you can choose what you want. Whichever suits your fancy. Usually your lettuce has to be bite-sized because you don't want to be struggling with your lettuce <laughs> when having your dinner. We have some spring onions. You can just slice them finely, okay? When preparing uh, salads and you have onions as one of the ingredients, it's always good to slice them very fine. And always good to remember your mint or your uh, chewing gum. With spring onions, I love to use the stalks. They're very edible, they're nice, they give great color to your salad, so you can chop all the way to the end and uh, toss them into your salad. Okay, you can loosen the uh, bits that are all stuck together, okay, so that they don't go into the one place. Scoop all of that and toss it in. Now this is a very rugged salad you can do in two, three minutes, okay? You don't have to be too fancy, but the end product is beautiful. Right, our tomato. Okie dokie. If you like green peppers in your salads, yeah, feel free to slice a few of those in. I like a lot of spicy food. Green peppers are a good way of uh, giving some spice to your salads. So, we slice some of that finely. It's always good to take the white membrane out because that is a bit bitter. You don't want to have that sticking in your salad. Here we are. Cucumber. Lovely ingredient to use. Very cool. That's why they always say cool as a cucumber. Now with cucumber you've got some seeds inside. Um, so with these you need to scoop them out. You can just either cut them out or scoop them out with a spoon, whichever, uh, whichever way you prefer. You can also peel your cucumber before you use it. That way you take the outer coating off. But I'm just going to slice these because uh, they're nice anyway. So either way you get a great salad. Okay, we've got like half moon shapes with a cucumber. So you see our salad is starting to look, to look uh, uh, colorful already. I've still got some uh, red onion left over here. It looks very colorful already, okay? All we're gonna do is toss this up. We're gonna make a dressing or a vinaigrette in a minute. It's been thirsty, hard work. I'm gonna use this tray to display our salad. Now, a lot of people like to use tongs for their mixed salad. If your hands are clean, you can feel free to toss your salad with your hands. There's nothing wrong with that, okay? So, this is my serving tray. You see my salad? All very colorful there. I'm just gonna toss this around a little. Not too much, I'm not gonna work it too much because it's very fragile. I don't want it to wither or anything. Okay? Don't leave any of this. Here we are. Okay, now we need to make a small dressing for this, nothing too fancy. With the items that I'm going to use, it's very, very healthy and very, very tasty. All you need is your vinegar, olive oil, salt and pepper. I love to crush some garlic, mash it up. I'll show you how to do that. What I'm going to do is crush it with the side of my knife to take the inedible part out. You can take the corner bit out if you want as well, but you can leave it if you wish. First of all, chop it very fine, okay? Sprinkle some salt, just a pinch. This stops the garlic from getting too slippery, okay? You can get your knife closer and with the heel or the palm of your, your, your hand, keep the knife stable and then chop your garlic. Okay. After that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to crush it even further. See the consistency of that? Our garlic goes in. Because it's going to be a vinaigrette, we need to chop this fine. This has been chopped into a nice fine mixture of herbs. We're going to need about uh, six tablespoons of the olive oil. There we go. 
but we're going to need significantly smaller amounts of the vinegar because vinegar is very strong and very sharp. White wine vinegar, any type of balsamic vinegar, whichever suits your fancy, we're using white wine vinegar here. With that you need very little. You can always add but you can take away like I say. So maybe half a teaspoon to start with. We shall taste after all the ingredients going and then we shall add some more. A pinch of salt, same for pepper. We are going to whisk this together with a fork to try to blend the mixture. Okay, so there's our dressing all ready. Very healthy option. We're going to drizzle this over our salad just before we serve. Let's go for some Bon Appetit health tidbits. Eating fish is an important source of omega-3 fatty acids. Omega-3 fatty acids are found in every kind of fish, but are especially high in fatty fish. Some good choices are salmon, sardines, herring, canned light tuna, and oysters. So welcome back. Our fish is in the oven, our salad is ready, our dressing is ready. Let's check on our fish. I'm sure it's ready by now. Here we are. You see that? Beautiful. Okay, this is very hot, so we need to put this on a hot surface. If your work surface can't handle so much heat, you need something that you're gonna place it on and be very, very careful as you do this, okay? We're gonna to try to transfer this onto our serving dish and do a little bit of garnish, something very simple, nothing too fussy. We're gonna need two fish slices like this. We have to remember though, now it's very fragile. It's cooked so it can't break in the middle, so you have to be very careful. Lift one side and make sure you've loosened it all the way through. And then the lifting process. One end takes the heavier part, the other end takes the lighter part. There it goes. Voila. Just some sliced tomato cucumber brings about a fantastic change to this. Brings out the color. We have some cucumber left over here. Slice into two. Take the center out. And all the seeds. Uh, some lemon tomato. Lemon is a very wonderful uh, accompaniment to fish. Right, I'm going to slice all of these. Take all the bits that I don't need out first. Half moon slices for the cucumber. We'll do the same for the tomato. There we go. Lemon, you can do it anyway. Wedges, sliced, whichever way you fancy. I'm going to slice them up and then I'm going to twirl them. Okay. Let's attempt to garnish this. I'm just going to layer these along the side of the fish there. You can do anything. There we go. And then with the tomato just to give it a little bit of a contrast. It doesn't have to be something very fancy, but it's still colorful. The lemon, I'm gonna cut across halfway through, and then I'm gonna twist. I'm gonna twist, lay that there. Okay, we still have some lemon left over. What are we gonna do? Our fish, it's got a mouth wide open. Let's do something, quick. Okay, like so. What I'm gonna do is put that in the mouth just to make it more interesting. You don't have to. Open wide. There we go. Voila. Right, so a recap of what we've done. Our whole baked grouper, our mixed salad, and our vinaigrette. We said we're gonna drizzle that at the last minute. Stir it once again, make sure your ingredients are well mixed. And just drizzle it over the top. No need for any formation or setup. That looks really, really wonderful. What you could do when you're ready to serve, you can lift your salad, place it on your serving tray. It'll look even more wonderful. So here we are, our two beautiful dishes, ready for the beach. Remember, we have that competition waiting for us. I'm going to take them on.
This one or that one? Um, the ladies one. The ladies one. Hey, one for you there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's your turn. Which one do you prefer? Tell me which one. No, 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 all our people here prefer the Fanti Fanti. Well, we've been at James Sound Beach. The support here has been wonderful. Two great dishes. She won, but I think, hey, my dish was still good. A look at today's ingredients again. Group of fish, lettuce, cucumber, green pepper, tomato, spring onion and red onion, garlic, coriander and parsley, breadcrumbs, salt, pepper, ginger. Group of fish and salad nicely done. A discovery of the creative and healthy traditional meal is what we will showcase in our next episode. Bon appétit! Eat with your heart! Thank you very much for watching. It was a pleasure having you. This program was brought to you by Coca-Cola. See you again next week. Ciao!